Oh, hello. What's up, my people? We're in Bali. You bud. We're about to go to Monkey Forest. Here's the main high street. Actually quite quiet. A few temples, a few shops, some lovely cafes. But today we're gonna to go to Monkey Forest, which is just around the corner, see some monkeys, see some temples. Uh, let's go. First challenge is, of course, where did I park? as to where the entrance is but parking is over there guys grab your ticket uh, you pay it afterwards so don't pay anybody if you're parking there there's, there's people watching the bikes but don't don't pay there you pay afterwards keep your ticket there's a little QR code on it I presume it's timed like most places in the world uh, and then we just follow it up this way um, and see what try and find the entrance and we'll, we'll pay and get in Please. There you go guys, ticket, 80,000 IDR, I'll put just here, right I have been warned not to have anything in your pockets, make sure your pockets are empty, they will steal all your stuff. Thank you. And we're in. So apparently we're not to get too close. We'll maintain eye contact. Oh, you have to buy tickets. Oh, where is the ticket? If you buy a ticket, you can have your picture taken with a trained monkey rather than trying to do it yourself and getting ripped apart. There's a lot of people here. I suggest getting here early, but that probably won't help because it's so popular. This one. Oh, someone's lost their water and getting it. <laughs> so if you didn't catch that, what happened was a monkey stole someone's water and then the other monkey got wind of that and decided he would uh, show him the ways of the birds and the bees. It's kind of hard to know what to, to show guys. I mean, it's just loads of monkeys. <laughs> That's what you don't want to be on the receiving end of. <laughs> Just in case you do get bitten or scratched, there is a first aid clinic. However, it's closed. I know it's called Monkey Forest, but I definitely, uh, definitely bigger than I thought. Mm. I feel like you gotta watch yourself, like a monkey could just come out of nowhere at any minute. They have these water fountains as well. It's not for the humans. I try and catch one using it, it's pretty cool. Lost 
lost count of the amount of signs that say, watch your stuff. Don't bring any water. Don't bring your drinks. Don't have it out of the bag. Just walk past someone. Oh, the monkey's had my drink. Come on. Although it's very busy with tourists, it might not look like behind me, but there are lots of people here. It's very, it's very peaceful, considering you're right in the city centre, which is pretty busy for a small, what is essentially a road. Watch out for the monkeys in the trees. And just behind you. Being stalked by a monkey. <laughs> Gotta watch out for eye contact too much, isn't there? If they spot something in your pocket or your bag that's loose, they will go for it. It does make me laugh when you come to a, a tourist attraction and you've got families and couples, especially couples. Families I can understand looking a bit miserable at each other, but you've got couples or like young backpackers and they just walk around like this. It's been the time of your life, guys. Cheer up. It's unorganic only because they don't want the monkey to fall in the bin and not be able to get back out of the bin. And plus it would just train them to go and raid other bins because they know they can get it from a bin. They'll go and raid other bins because there's no high fences around here. You just see them in the road out the front. So yeah, keep, keep your, well, don't, just don't bring food. <laughs> it's a little something different, an exhibition room. Hello. Ganesha. Oh, that van is nice. Beating. So this is Wayan Vanol, aka the Moon. Some incredible artwork, no doubt about it. Feel free to press pause, guys, and check these out. It's pretty dimly lit in here, though. Home with the monkeys before it rains. Some geezer. To our friend who's a subscriber and uh, he used to run a, a night in Bristol called Monkey Knife Fight. One for you, Saul. Just need the knife. So humid. Another monkey. See him like eyeing people as you go past. <laughs> it's kind of Hello. Well, look at all the vines. Must be. It's incredible. The vine goes from here all the way up. I think they grow down actually, but amazing. Oh, hello. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh oh. You say like it is about to kick off. Oh, 
everyone else is obsessing over the monkeys and I think these vines are incredible. Look at it. cheap way to do it is obviously just to stand near a guide and get all your information instead of paying for it. Um, he's saying this, some of these vines in this tree are over a thousand years old. Amazing. Of course, most people aren't interested in that. Let's attempt to go across the bridge. A rare moment of nobody on the bridge, check it out. Oh, boom. Here they come. Whether parts of that are a thousand years old is questionable. thousand year old tree? Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think there is a thousand year old tree. Can't be. Maybe the temple. Definitely advise getting a tour guide over listening to me. So obviously as well as being a monkey forest, it's a temple. There's a little cemetery here. And oh, there is a monkey cemetery. No, it's definitely just a cemetery. Looks like we're nearing the end, which I'm quite glad of. It's okay, but yeah, monkeys in a forest. Definitely come and see the monkeys in a forest. Yeah, you've got to watch yourself around here, guys, especially near the entrance, I think is probably the more aggressive ones uh, are nearer the road. Uh, because they, they're a bit more brave, a bit more, I just got hissed at. Yeah, you've got to really watch yourself. But yeah, the ones near the road are going to be a little bit more brave, obviously. But I think this is way back out. Well, that looks like it's about it for there, guys. Monkey forest. Monkey see, monkey do. Had to lose that though, because it's too humid. Absolutely drenched. Shaved my own head the other day. I got this massive line because the guard fell off. Oh, cool. All right, I think that's it. Coming around full cycle. That's where we came in. Came in that way. Been all the way around. Bit 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 bit. And uh, yeah, here we are, guys. Got paid for the parking. No idea how long that took. Actually, it was probably about probably about an hour, maybe. Um, in between filming. But I, I recommend coming early. I came. Uh, at like midday, it's really hot, really sticky, really humid. Um, and yeah, it's definitely, um, yeah, it's definitely really busy. So I recommend coming early, as early as possible. I don't really get up early, too early in the morning. friend who looks like that. I just battle my way through the uh, hordes of tourists. Excuse me. So yeah, you can obviously um, get a tourist group from multiple outlets. Um, get yourself a, a, a guide. Or well, you can just stand by the side of the road like those other people were and deal with the really dangerous ones and try and get your selfies with that. But <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. All right, here we are, back at the bike park. Squeeze around this way, I think. All right, that's that then, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.